Okay, so I thought I'd do a quick video uh, mentioning Jose's uh, site again. Uh, he's added the Dolphin emulator, which is Wii and GameCube emulation on Pi 4. Now it's available through, uh, well, Monkajaro has done a good good one on one of his builds. And actually there's a new build of Monkajaro, which I need to try out to see, uh, because that's the best performance I've had on Dolphin emulator so far. But this one actually works really well, and I've already installed it uh, using PyKiss. You can see I'm running a low resolution. This is uh, running at 720 because it, it helps the performance. Okay, so let's go to games and Dolphin. And uh, the two games I've been playing that have been running okay. Uh, I mean, not enjoyable okay, but it's, you know, they're certainly running faster than I'd expected. Um, and again, this is a 32-bit operating system. I'm pretty sure this wants to run on a 64-bit. All the menus run super quick, but when you get into the game, then it does go a bit slower. There's no audio. Well, you can have audio, but it's choppy. Uh, and I've been playing around with frame skips and things like that. I haven't got frame skip on now because I didn't find it made it that much faster. Uh, and, it, and it certainly makes it a lot less smooth. So let's catch a wave and let's uh, skip back in. Am I going to make that? Oh, yeah. Nice. So you can see it looks looks reasonable. The graphics aren't quite what they should be. Uh, it's fine underwater, but the texture on the top of the water doesn't look quite right. You can see it's uh, it's incredibly flat there. But this is uh, in experimental stage, and obviously things will get better in time. Uh, imagine if we had something like this with Vulcan drivers. It would just be superb. So that's oh, so that's Kelly Slater's. Um, the other one that I uh, had working, which was reasonable, uh, again too slow, but reasonable, was this uh, Jerry McGrath. And again, the menus are nice and quick. And obviously, people can play around with settings and see if they can get it better. Um, I did um, enable the uh, fake KMS driver in the config.txt and it was working and then I couldn't get it to boot after that so I had to delete that uh, and I've just added a bit more GPU memory I think I went to 256 I tried higher and it didn't seem to make any difference but uh, but yeah I think you can see from that it's it's getting there uh, I, when I last tried this game I couldn't get any control uh, so this is progress that oh that's a tight corner um, so it's nice to see that I've got full control, it's, it's working with my controller, which is a wired Xbox 360 controller. Anyway, so check out Jose's site uh, and uh, definitely download PyKiss, which works with Twister OS and Raspberry Pi OS. It is a great program and uh, allows you to install all sorts of things. I've been playing around with AirPlay. I'm not ready to do a video on it yet because I want to do, uh, there was something else I wanted to try. The trouble is this... Well, the good thing is that loads of things are happening in the Pi at the moment. Everything's changing. There's all sorts of... Uh, I've got enough stories to do another Pi news, um, so I'll be working on that. Anyway, I hope you like this. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.